Hello, my name is Adam Howard, and today I'm going to show you how to use an RSS aggregator. What RSS stands for is Real Simple Syndication. These are websites that use a feed system, like a blog or a news site or an audio or video site, um, something where the information is often updated and it's done through a feed. What an RSS aggregator does is it allows you to subscribe to multiple feeds, put them in folders, organize them, and that way when new content is posted to that site it goes straight to your aggregator and you get a notification and then you can kind of sort through it kind of like email and I'm going to show you how to get up and running with that the first thing you want to do is go to the Chrome store there we go alright we're gonna select there and then right up here in the top left we're gonna search RSS aggregator there we go and then this top one right here is the one I recommend. Here we go. And then this button right here is going to say Add to Chrome. It says Added to me because I've already added it here. But you're going to select that. And when you do, you're going to get this little button right up here in the top right-hand corner. All right. And that's all you have to do. Now it is um, now it is a Chrome extension. What Chrome extensions are are little programs that run on top of your normal browser to enhance uh, your, your browsing ability. So that's already installed. And what I can do is I can click it here, and then I can see the different uh, feeds that I've uh, um, that I've subscribed to, and we can click on that. And this is going to take you to your RSS aggregator homepage. And like I said, it kind of looks like email here. On the left, I can see the different feeds that I've subscribed to, and then I've grouped them uh, in different groupings, which I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. And then. I can look through uh, today, yesterday, and then uh, weeks and months earlier to look at different things that have been posted to these websites. And then if I click on them, it gives me a really simple view right here. So I don't even have to leave my aggregator to read the new blog posts, which is pretty awesome. So this is a really great way to keep up with all of your different um, websites and blogs that you like to read for your class. All right, so now I wanna show you how we would add something to our RSS aggregator. So um, let's look for Ed Policy Blogs here. Let's say I want to. I want to look. Here we go. Education policy. I want to get into education policy. I want to know more about it. I want to look and see what blogs are popular here. All right. Um, let's take this one for instance. So this is a blog, an education policy blog. And then when you're on a site that uses RSS com uh, compatible um, coding, you'll see the, the RSS aggregator turns orange up here. If you're on a site that, that it doesn't, it'll stay gray. But as you can see, it turns orange, which means I can add this to my, to my RSS aggregator. So I'm gonna click here, and then I'm gonna hit add. All right, and then it's taken that that site and turned it into something that's much easier to read and then I'm going to hit subscribe and boom there we go right here now I can see it in the bottom now if I want to take this and add it to a uh, folder um, I can do that I have let's see I have a policy yeah Ed policy right there I can do that now if I want to add it to something else I can left click and hit group and then these are my existing groups. And then I can hit add if I want to add a new group here. And then boom, see, now I have a new group here that I can add different things to. There we go. So that's how your RSS aggregator works. Really simple, really powerful way to, to keep up to date on all of your different interests, all your different blogs or news sites um, or video audio sites. So there you go. That's it for today. Thank you very much.